Hello guys, it's the Crazy Barker here, back again today. I'm doing a review on a BMW 310R, just to give you some pointers, what to look out for, obviously what to check, what to feel safe, and basically what's good and what's bad about the bike. I've owned this bike for six months now, and this is just going to be a personal, well, what I feel, what the bike is like, compared well, to myself and all that. Right, the BMW G310R, which is, this one is the late model, this is the 68 plate model, uh, is really, really good. If you've just passed your 125 test in Britain, uh, it's a really good bike to move up to because it doesn't have that much horsepower. It has a top speed of, I believe it's 82, and it gets, it's a really, really, really good commuter around town. Uh, what I've seen out of the bike is about roughly about 65 miles per gallon, roughly about 160 to 170 mile range on the bike, and it's actually really really good on fuel because it only costs about 10 to 12 pound to fill up the tank, which is actually really really good, especially if you don't want to spend a lot of money. This bike retails for in Britain for I believe three thousand eight hundred pound, which I think is a wee bit expensive for the bike. It, they could make it a wee bit cheaper. I don't feel like you get a lot for your money with this bike, but it depends if you want it or not, and if you like it, it's just whatever your opinion is. To be honest, I feel like there's better options out there for that amount of money, like. Hi, there's a lot more better options than this. I used to own a Honda Rebel before this, 500, and I loved the thing, but it wasn't practical, so I swapped it in for this, which I'm happy about, because this does get a lot better mileage. It's more smoother on the throttle, better fuel economy and all that, just for traveling back and forth to work. This is a lot of a better bike. So what are you getting for uh, 3,800 from BMW? Well, you either get, you can get this color, or you can get their blue and red colour which to be honest I prefer this colour, it looks better, more cleaner and uh, what kind of extras can you add onto this bike? well you can add heated grips onto the bike, that's an extra that you can purchase from BMW and you can buy one of these, a back box and the assembly this complete assembly cost me £350 which is quite expensive for what it is but it's I would recommend doing this if you were using it as a commuter bike but generally if you just want to use it as a toy or just blast it in the countries it's actually a really good bike it does stick to the road the suspension is really really good especially the up down upside down forks that's a really really good touch on the bike so i'll just show you how to start the bike Right, as we see here, it says service. The bike is serviced. Uh, I did buy all the parts from BMW and that cost me £45. It's just the fact that BMW are the only ones that can actually turn off your service light at this prior set, prior moment, uh, to my knowledge. I think they're the only ones that can actually turn it off because they're the only ones that have got the programme to turn the service light off. But they won't turn it off for you unless you pay them £130, I believe, to do the service for them through them which to be honest I'm not going to pay that when I can do it myself so as I say you turn on the key and I'll show you all the modes on the bike all right that's what doing here. so the bike's on 5017 miles so that's my first trip second trip engines currently sitting at 20 degrees range it says I got 130 mile range but notice how I'm two bars down, so that would be probably be about 170 mile range it would give me. An average miles to per gallon is 52 miles per gallon. That's, that's just for the fact I haven't been going on long runs. I've just been going like back and forth to my work, so it's not that it's not that far to my work. Average speed is 26 miles an hour. Day it has set up if you want to change your clocks, and that's back to the dimmer. And let's see if you notice here, there is a ABS light flashing. This ABS light won't turn off until you actually ride off. So here we'll do a cold start on a BMW G310R.
Right, as you see there, YouTube, that's a cold start on a BMW 310R. Right, let's talk about some of the negative stuff that I can say about this bike. And it is, well, the bike costs £3,800, brand spanking new, if you want the new model. And uh, to be honest, I don't really think that's worth it for this bike. To be honest, I think there's a lot better options out there. This ain't the fastest bike in its class. There's not a lot of power behind it, if you're an experienced driver and you just wanted something to have fun with. And I feel like for £3,800, yeah, there's a a lot of plastic. Like, this is a hollow tank. This actually ain't the tank. The tank's actually further down in it. I just feel like for the money you spend, you're getting a lot of plastic rather than quality parts with it. And as you saw with the rev counter there, is it's got an automatic choke on this bike so it automatically revs to about 2000 to 3000 automatically it'll sit around about there which i've never known a bike to do and i don't know if that's just a bmw thing so let me know down in the comments if it is or anything like that because all the other bikes i've had is averagely probably about 1000 to 2000 roughly that's where they averagely sat which i don't really get I don't know if that's just a BMW thing or anything like that. And another thing to watch out guys is um, I haven't had this bike for two weeks and I've only really just discovered this myself. But I've bought this bike and uh, when I bought this bike six months ago the bike was actually meant to have a recall on it. But BMW didn't inform me of the recall for the brakes, for faulty brakes. So if you do have a BMW 310R or if you're looking to get one please please make sure it's had its brakes fixed on it because I didn't know this and I started getting a lot of burning smells from my brakes and it just stunk but I was always wondering what the heck was wrong with it and then I discovered it was the brakes that were binding and it was like slowing the bike down yeah generally it just wasn't really good so I phoned up my local BMW driver well, my local BMW shop, sorry, I had found out that they actually didn't even know about the recall either. And, um, which was quite weird, but anyway, they came and picked up the bike and they took it away. And, well, I didn't, I can't say I had the best experience with them, if I'm being honest. It's just because I didn't have a bike for two and a half weeks. They told me they would give me back, bike, the, that, sorry, they told me they would give me back the bike on Monday. And... Well, the Monday when they picked, well, they picked the bike up on Thursday and they told me they'd give it back on Monday. But Monday came and they said they still don't have the parts. And then basically pretty much two weeks after that, I got the bike back. And uh, yeah, I kind of went out on the right, uh, road test on it just to see if it feels okay or that. And then I discovered they actually didn't pump the brakes on the bike at all. So I had to try and get that back myself. But as you see, they put new calipers on it, new front calipers, and new back calipers. But this is a crazy biker, and this is just my honest review of this bike. If you're a new driver, I would recommend going and getting this bike. If you don't want anything with power, and you just want to commute back and forth. But if you're looking for something with more power, faster, I would recommend probably going to a 500 possibly. Or if you're an experienced driver and you just want to, well, slow down, you know, just enjoy thing. This is a really good bike for commuting and it's alright for taking passengers on as well. But that's my honest review and I'm signing out YouTube. See you later.